combat sports, fighting, whatever you want to call it, martial arts, it has evolved so much in 30 years, more than the last 300 years. What did you think when you saw UFC 1 with Hoist? I remember everybody talking that this fight was going to happen and there was going to be no rules and all this other stuff. And we're like, there's no way, that's bullshit. And then we ended up at some guy's house that night in Boston and, and watching it and it was happening and it was fun and it was exciting and everything else. And then I, and then I sort of fell off after that. The first one I, I, I watched, but I, I was too big of a boxing fan. Plus once grappling started taking over and, you know, by grappling meaning the wrestling and the, and, and the jujitsu guys that just laid there, mm. you know, I, I completely lost interest. It's funny that, that I'm having this conversation with you right now because last night, I was out last night with my friends and we were talking about, um, cause one, one of my buddies who's a host here in town mm -hmm. just did jujitsu for the first time <laughs> Nice yesterday. Yeah. And he was like, did he get his ass kicked? Yeah. Or? Yeah. But when you first go in, yeah, our first jujitsu lesson, me, Lorenzo and Frank was with John Lewis. Nice. And I remember thinking, holy shit. I, I, I can't believe that I'm, you know, 28 years old. And this is the first time I'm experiencing this, that, that another human being could do this to me yeah. on the ground. It is such an eye-opening, mind-blowing experience when you do it for the first time. And then you become completely addicted to it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were training three, four days a week, trying to kill each other and and uh, me and the Fertitas. And that's how we fell in love with the sport. I think that first time that you do jujitsu, it's like, the red pill and the blue pill in the matrix. Do you want to <laughs> believe that this is the world that you live yeah. in or do you want to see what the real world looks like? It's just as a real red pill. It really is. <laughs> you realize, holy shit, it all really that is. shit talking I've been doing about me being a badass, mm -hmm. you realize you're not. You get 100%. dominated by another human being, you right. realize no. And I mean dominate. I mean yeah. completely treat you like you're a little kid. Yeah. Um, and then we had the opportunity to roll with a lot of different guys at the time because of the whatever. And, and we don't have a good relationship at all, but I'll tell you this, Frank Shamrock came in one day mm -hmm. and Frank Shamrock had me in uh, side control. Mm -hmm. The pressure that this guy put on my chest made me tap. Yeah, Felt like I, there was a car on my chest mm -hmm. and with zero effort from him. It was absolutely effortless. And when, when you when you train with somebody that's at such a level when you're not mm -hmm. it, it just it is the most humbling mind-blowing experience you can have as, especially as a man but as a human being do you remember just for fun do you remember like what your go-to submission was yeah what? so uh, you know when we first started out and started doing it i had a pretty good guillotine in the beginning yeah. so i'd catch a lot of people in guillotines and so you're okay being on like on bottom so like yeah i was okay with good? bottom yeah i was okay with being on bottom i was comfortable there but you know what i never liked i never liked gi like yeah. we started fucking around with the gi in the beginning we would you know that's how we started and then once i took the gi off i felt like i had no submissions because i couldn't grab onto anything so I, after that, I went all no gi and I, I, ne I never wanted to wear a gi. And it's fascinating because no gi has become big now and there's a lot of interesting people. Like I train with Gordon Ryan and like the level there is just fascinating. It's become like this science and it looks like fighting now. It looks right. more like fighting as opposed to with the gi, sometimes it doesn't quite look like fighting. Right. And I feel like it's uh, transferable to actual like MMA fighting, no gi stuff. Or street. Street, yeah. Right. I mean, if you if if you start off in your first year, is you're in a gi, I mean, you better hope guys got like winter jackets on or something if something happens in the street. Because, it, it, in my opinion, and all the jujitsu fucking people are gonna go crazy over this, but in my opinion, no gi is way better than gi. That said, I also do judo. So in the street scenario, if you're comfortable on the feet, and you can clinch and you can throw, you could because most of us wear clothing especially right. in Boston and the winter right, setting. Exactly. So if you're comfortable on the feet, you could still do uh, well there. The problem with jiu-jitsu is most people are not comfortable on the feet, the sport jiu-jitsu. Right. Most people kind of want to get to the ground as quickly as possible. So what'd you think of Hoist at that time? Like in the early, like what, cause it blew a lot of people's minds that there's like more to this puzzle. 100%. And the fact that you had, um, 
like these guys like Ken Shamrock that were jacked, yeah. right? And you had all these wrestlers or, you know, the big massive guys that they had in the different weight classes and this skinny little dude like Hoist was out there beating everybody. I mean, if you look at the way the, the Gracies played that, you couldn't have had a better advertisement for, for Gracie Jiu-Jitsu at the time. But also like for MMA, because there's just like a lot of surprising elements. A lot of people's prediction was wrong. Right. They didn't think the skinny guy would win. And they're like, oh shit, there's more to this. What's well, the real beautiful thing about jujitsu? It's like when you talk about, if you wanted to get your daughter into a martial art, should I put my daughter into karate or should I put her into this? You put your daughter into jujitsu 100% because it's not about size or strength. It's about technique. Mm -hmm. And you give your daughter a bunch of jujitsu and a little bit of Muay Thai, you know? Yeah, she becomes dangerous. It's like the perfect combo. Yeah. Because you can put your son into anything. Your son can get yeah. into some, you know, boys are going to learn how to fight and they're going to do whatever, but girls are girls are different. And the other thing, I mean, this is the biggest selling point for jujitsu for women. I mean, when a woman, no matter how big, how small, can put a guy to sleep in three and a half seconds. What's the origin story of the UFC as it is today, as you have created it and you and uh, Lorenzo and Fertitta Brothers built it. It started with with John Lewis, you know, and, and, and seeing him. Frank and I were out one night at the Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. Frank's like, I've always wanted to learn uh, ground fighting. And I said, yeah, I'm interested in it too. So we went over, we talked to John Lewis, and we made an appointment to wrestle with him on Monday. Yeah. And we told Lorenzo, and Lorenzo came with us, and uh, that was the beginning of the end. I mean, we, we started doing jujitsu and, and started to meet a lot of the fighters. And we were like, you know, at the time, there was a stigma attached to the sport that these guys were, you know, despicable, disgusting human beings, but, which was the furthest thing from the truth. These, these kids uh, had all gone to college, had college degrees, most of them, because they wrestled in college. And we started to meet some, we loved the different stories. You had Chuck Liddell, who you know had this mohawk looks like an axe murderer and uh but graduated from cal poly uh you know w with honors and accounting you know yeah then you had matt hughes who was this farm boy you know literally lived on a farm and so there were all these cool stories yeah. with all these good people that weren't what people thought they were and lorenzo and i always felt like there's something here that if this thing was done the right way this could be big 